Over the last 30 years, millions of Hold Right products have been utilized in a wide variety of residential, commercial, institutional, and numerous other applications. As industry leaders in secondary pipe supports, Holdright literally wrote the book on converting makeshift methods into engineered solutions. Pipe systems, especially on stormwater uh, rain leaders, that maybe they're installed on a high-rise building and we'll grab a number of say 15 to 20 stories. Typically on a roof drain leader that size, or for a project that size, you're probably looking at anywhere from eight to 10 inch, and maybe even larger depending on how large the roof area is that that particular stack is picking up, and what's the anticipated maximum rainfall to be anticipated in the near future. In, let's say worst case scenario, they do plan for a three to five inch an hour rainstorm, and they're picking up maybe 1,200 square feet of roof area, that's gonna be a significant amount of water going down that pipe. Now when water travels down a pipe, it travels on the circumference of the pipe or the outer walls. It doesn't fill it up and become a solid slug as it would in a engineered rainwater leader system. Now when that water traveling down the downspout reaches terminal velocity, it's gonna change direction at the base of the stack from vertical to horizontal. Well, what's gonna happen is that column of water with the air slug up the middle is gonna collapse, it's gonna change direction, it's gonna start flowing horizontally along the base or the invert of the horizontal pipe. Now as the water starts to travel along the horizontal plane, it's gonna start slowing down. Well, the water behind it isn't. The water behind it's gonna to continue to come down at terminal velocity until it changes direction and begins to slow down as well. Well, a phenomenon that occurs in that situation within about five to 10 feet of that change of direction is that the water coming down rapidly is gonna run into the water that's now beginning to travel slowly and you get a buildup in that pipe and it's referred to as hydraulic jump. When that happens, you start backing that hydraulic jump back up the pipe, especially if it's a prolonged rain flow and you have a significant amount of water coming through, that potentially could back up into the vertical column portion of the pipe and create enough thrust there to cause that to separate, which has happened. It's been demonstrated and it doesn't take very much thrust force in reality. Uh, referring back to the failure at the Translational Medical Research Facility in Philadelphia, when that system separated, the engineer calculated that it was only 82 pounds of thrust on that 12 inch rainwater leader to cause it to separate. So again, we can see that it, with a 12 inch rainwater leader, had it been subjected to a 10 foot head pressure test, that section of pipe would have with, should have been able to withstand up to 530 pounds of thrust. In this case, obviously the pipe wasn't tested with a static head and when 82 pounds of thrust was exerted upon it from the rain capacity off that particular example, it was sufficient to cause a separation. Mm -hmm.